In this video, I'll show you how to add a VAT field on your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout page and currently we've added this checkout field here. We can rearrange the position, we can add a placeholder, we can set this field to be required. It's totally up to you, okay? And this is all done using the WooSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to all-in-one at checkout.com and go ahead and download the WooSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. With that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section. And then from here, we can scroll down and go ahead and toggle the all-in-one at checkout to on. If you're using the pro version, just go ahead and toggle this to on as well. And then we can go ahead and add our VAT field and any other field for that matter. Okay, so we'll click on all-in-one at checkout here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new checkout form. Okay, and to do so, we'll go ahead and click create new checkout. Since I've already created one, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one here. Okay, so just to give you a quick overview, we've got our default WooCommerce section. Okay, so we've got our billing details, shipping details, order summary, shipping payments, and so on. If we click this settings icon here, we can go ahead and add new fields to our checkout. For example, we can add this text field here. So we can just drag and drop it and we can place it in the position that we like. Okay, so once the field's been added to our canvas, we can go ahead and click the settings icon. And then here for the label, we can say VAT, for example. And then under appearance, we can set this to required as well, or we can set it to optional. It's totally up to you. So in the intro, I showed it as being required. Now we'll just untick required. Okay. So the VAT field's optional. Okay. And then under appearance, we can add a placeholder. So we can say something like enter your VAT number to receive an invoice. Okay. And then once we finish, we can just X this off. So since we've got two VAT fields, I'll delete this one. And as I said, we can just rearrange it um, in the position that we like, okay? Whilst we're here as well, if we click the settings icon, let's go to appearance, we can change the width as well. So we can set it to half width, a third, or just full width. Okay, so that looks fine. So I'll leave that as it is. So we'll navigate over to where it says design. So we've got a few options. So we can choose from our predefined templates and um, there'll be more coming in the future. Or you can choose to use your existing theme design. Okay, so in that case, you'll just select default, but we can choose between a single column layout or a two column layout. And then we can choose this modern um, design here. Okay, so I'll just click on this one and then we'll navigate to settings. And then we just want to make sure we enable this option. We can give it a name and it's just for internal purposes. So in the event that you've got multiple different checkout forms. So for example, um, you can create a checkout form for retail customers and then a different checkout form for B2B customers and so on. Okay. You've got loads of other videos walking you through how to use this particular plugin. But for this video, I'm just showing you how to enable the VAT field. Okay. So again, as I said, just entering the name, it's just for internal purposes and um, you can ignore this as well. Um, where it says applies to, we'll just leave this to everyone so it displays to everyone and then finally we've got the option to customize the place order button okay we'll just click save changes when we visit our checkout page if i was to refresh this this should now be optional right okay so we've got our vat field here and currently set to optional okay and that's a quick and easy way to add a vat field to your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible